Hello guys, welcome back to the Real Deal Kitchen. For those of you who are just joining for the first time, please go ahead and check out the other exotic finger licking Jamaican creative dishes. More coming your way, so stay tuned. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of Jamaican favorite rice, rice and peas. Jamaica, that's right. Jamaican rice and peas, otherwise known as beans and rice. These are all the products that goes inside of that rice and peas. You're definitely gonna need the beans, which is the kidney beans, jasmine rice, you can use any rice of your choice, olive oil to add moisture to your rice and peas, and this is pimento seed, whole allspice. These seeds actually add flavor and scent to your kitchen. Gives it that exotic smell. Your neighbor will be able to smell it from a distance. There is no Jamaican kitchen without this seed. So make sure you want your kitchen to be like a Jamaican kitchen have this seed in it, pimento seeds. Coconut milk. You need your coconut milk for your rice and peas. You can get it from your local supermarket that has a Jamaican section. Grace coconut milk. Scallion. You need your scallion. Scotch bonnet pepper. You put it in just like this fresh thyme. So now I'm going to show you how to wash the beans. Yes, so you fill the pot up with water. Make sure it's like three quarter above the beans. Because this beans going to take at least an hour and a half to cook. If you have a pressure cooker, you can, it will take 45 minutes. But since I'm doing it the traditional Jamaican way, cook it on the stove, no fast cooking. It's going to take an hour and a half to cook. So you fill it up with cold water. So you put it on the stove on high heat. Let it stay there for an hour. Then I'm going to show you how to add the ingredients before you put the rice. Stay tuned. Look how the peas are boiled up in the water, man. Look how this rice, look how this peas are boiled up in the water. This is what you call Jamaican rice and peas. You make the peas boil up in the water. You saw the peas are boiled up in the water. So you let it boil for another half an hour. When the peas start split, then you know so the peas are cooked, it get soft. Then time they go throw in your ingredients. You're going to throw in your coconut milk, all those ingredients. There you go, my three cup of rice. Three cup of rice. You wash your rice and you put it in. So make it go and boil some more. Make the peas go and boil some more in the water. You see that? Make it keep boiling. Yeah? So the water turn red. I eat, make the rice and peas look red when it's done. These are the peas from scratch. This are not canned peas. All right? So don't forget guys to put your garlic pegs, fresh garlic pegs. This will help. That's, those garlic pegs will help soften the peas. Okay? So look at those garlic pegs. That's going to help soften the beans faster. Soften those peas. Okay? So just throw a couple garlic pegs in there, wash them, and throw it in there just like that. You can put it in the beginning, or if you remember, in the middle, you can add it. Cover it back and let it cook. Let the beans keep boiling. Okay, guys, so the peas been boiling for at least 45 minutes. So I'm going to add some more cold water in there. You always, if you need to add water, make sure it's cold water. So after I put the cold water in there, I'm going to add the scallion, which I wash it and I beat it up a little bit. So 
closely. Throw it in there. The pepper is not gonna burst, the Scotch Bonnet Jamaican pepper. Wash your fresh thyme, put it in there. A couple pimento seeds. Add some coconut milk. Then you're gonna add some olive oil in there. So you pour your olive oil. Well, you make it two teaspoons of olive oil. Pour a little salt. And you're gonna stir it. See? The coconut milk shape. Oh, look at that. So let it sit for another half an hour, 15, 20 minutes. I'm trying to get the beans a little bit softer. So in the next 20 minutes, it should be softer. Then you're gonna wash the rice and add the rice to it. Smelling good. Can't you smell it? Look at that. Look at that rice. Look at the beans. Look at the beans in the water. Look at all that the scotch bonnet pepper, scallions, coconut milk, the oil. This is all the seasoning in the water. Look at the water boiling up. So let me show you how to wash the rice for the beans and rice. So for the Jamaican rice and peas, you wash the rice under cold water. Get that starchy look from the rice. You wash it till the water is clear. Keep washing it until it's clear. So you're gonna pour that wash fresh jasmine rice into this rice and peas pot. So this is three cups of rice. Three cups of rice. And then you're gonna stir it. Stir it into that beans fat, rice and peas. This is how you make Jamaica rice and peas. And make sure the water is halfway above the rice. Look at this Jamaica rice and peas. You wanna get this pepper out. This is a scotch bunny green pepper. this out before it bursts. You don't want it to burst in your rice and peas to make your rice and peas hot. So you take it out. And you let this rice cook for 25 minutes. When the water is dried out, you turn the stove down and low. So you wanna make sure the water is halfway above the rice when you add that rice in the beans pot, you want it to be halfway above. So now the rice is drying down. So when the water is completely dried out, you turn the stove down and low, and let it steam for at least 15 minutes. Give it that nice fluffy rice and peas, Jamaican rice and peas. One of our most popular dish. You can eat this rice and peas with any meat, anything. You can even eat it by itself. But look at that water dried out of the rice. So turn the stove down on the lowest. Make sure the stove is turned on on the lowest to get the rice to look fluffy. To 
get this Jamaican rice and peas to look fluffy okay that's the pimento seed remember I told you there's no Jamaican cooking without a pimento seed that's the garlic that's the scallion and that's the beans and that's the thyme. after the food finish you can take these things out and throw it away this is what add flavor to the dish wow look at this Jamaican rice and peas look how lovely it's looking in that dish with a fresh piece of parsley look at it oh nice and fluffy look guys you can have this with any meat of your choice or just as it is guys don't forget to check out the other videos with other exotic Jamaican dishes and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exotic finger licking delicious Jamaican dishes